Shine Obsessed here doing a follow-up video to uh, the how to get the most out of your tire dressing vid that I recently posted. Um, in this video we're going to be applying two of my favorite tire products, both of these being tire coatings, uh, to a older rim and tire I have sitting around in my garage. Um, we're going to be using the Black Pearl Trim and Tire Armor and the Optimums, and this is a fairly new product, uh, tire protection and coating. Uh, these are both coatings. Uh, the difference in coatings and, and regular dressings that you would buy from your uh, local you know, Walmart or your uh, O'Reilly's or AutoZone. I'm not saying any of those products that you can get from there are bad, but uh, the difference in the coatings, they cost a little more, but they go a little further. Once applied, these will keep maintain that rich uh, look to them for uh, longer periods of time. I've gotten on the Black Pearl, I used extensively for the last uh, year or so. Uh, you know, I could easily during the summer get up to three months uh, of a good looking tire. Uh, during the winter season, it varies uh, depending on how much rain or, or bad weather you get. Either way, you get much more use out of these than uh, your typical tire dressings. The optimum Optimum uh, tire protection coating is what I'm currently using on my vehicles. I'm giving that some durability tests now. So far, so good. Uh, I like the way it applies. I'm going to apply both to this tire just so you can get a, a good look at uh, how they go on and how they look once they've uh, dried and how easy it is to use these. There is a bit of a difference between application on these two, which you'll see um, right now. Uh, so far, the Optimum is, is a little bit easier, and you'll see why. Uh, both of these products you, you can buy online. Um, the Black Pearl, they sell it from their own website. Optimum, you can find it at their website, and you can find it at AutoGeek and other websites. Um, the Black Pearl, uh, if you guys wanted to uh, worry about size, it comes in a 4-ounce, a 16-ounce, and a gallon. And as of right now, the Optimum only comes in an 8-ounce. But uh, once we use them, you'll see how much little product you use and how far these, these can go as opposed to your store-bought tryer dressings. And give these a try, guys, and I think you'll like them. So first up, we're going to apply the Black Pearl Trim and Tire. Um, I've shaken both up before I, I uh, use them. Any product you have that's been sitting on the shelf, even if you just got it, and you, you reuse it frequently, always shake it up before use. Now the Black Pearl, when you get the Black Pearl, it comes with a little paint, a little tray like this, looks like a paint tray, a roller, and these foam roller uh, tips. These are disposable to use and you're only going to use them once. You'll see why once I use it here. As, I can, as you can see, the Black Pearl is dark in color. Uh, these are water-based, polymer-based. Uh, I don't have the MSDS on either of these. I couldn't find them online. I like to know what's in the products too, because uh, I'm using them and, you know, uh, some of this stuff can be caustic. A lot of, there's a lot of chemicals in terms of detailing, and I like to be careful when I'm using them. You'll always see me wearing gloves and or a mask if I'm doing something like a coating on a car. So, Black Pearl Trim and Tire, pretty easy to use. Um, it, it Just like painting a wall, you're going to paint the sidewall of your tire. You're going to roll it and get some of the product on here, and again, you don't you need much, especially on a low profile tire like these. Wish I had a fresh tray so you can see, but I had to use an older one. Just get your roller, your foam roller, full of the product, and then apply. Now the catch to the Black Pearl, and I probably have too much on this foam roller. I'm going a little heavy, and I got a tape line here so you guys will see the difference in the two products once applied. And it goes on. It may not be picking up on the camera, but it has, as it goes on, it has a little bluish tinge to it. It's fine. It's going to look like that. Now the catch with the black pearl is that black color. If you want to keep your wheels safe, the best way to tape them off before you apply. I didn't. This is just an old set of wheels, but if you want, don't want to take the time to tape off, which I always suggest, you can get a I've got a little uh, <coughs> dampened microfiber towel here. If you get some on the side of your rim, wipe it off immediately. If not, 
it is there and it's going to stay there. <laughs> it's hard to get out. I mean, you can get it out. Uh, you can use some stronger cleaners to get it out if it happens to dry, but it is a pain. So tape your wheels off before you use the black pearl. Um, now, if you're working with rims with tires like these, these tires have a rim protector here. So it may be hard to get down in there. I use this little detailing brush just to lightly and gently get some product down in there. I'm not going to do all that here right now. I'm just going to get some of that on the surface of the tire. I've applied one thin coat. Goes on nice and easy butter. And I, I, I still have a bit enough product in the tray here and I, I barely, um, less than an ounce of product here in this tray. And I still have some left. And this particular version of the Black Pearl is the gloss version. You can get this in either gloss or matte. It just depends on the type of finish you like in your tire. Some folks don't like a glossy tire. Some folks like a nice matte dark finish. Uh, they have that. I, I like the matte darker finish for, for uh, tar tires with a lot more sidewall on them. So I would typically use that on something like an SUV, something with large sidewalls for um, thinner, thinner, low profile tires like these. I'll get the gloss because it doesn't stand out as much. Adjusting gloss on this is a little different. We'll go ahead and apply this. This is just as simple to apply, but it's a little less messy. I think that's what's so great about it. And that's why I may be leaning towards this from now on, depending on the durability. Now for the optimum tire protection and coating, you take a microfiber applicator and I've already shaken this bottle up. I'm going to apply a few drops of it there along the top of the applicator. That's probably way too much. And you're just going to work it in the side of the tire. And you can see that blue tinge to it as well. It's a little bit more prevalent as you apply it. Now the cool thing about this, and I, since it goes on clear, unlike the Black Pearl, you don't have the mess. And I can actually use my fingers to work the applicator down into the groove between the rim and the rim protect protector as well. So basically, it's applied. It doesn't need any heavy application. You don't have to lean into the applicator. I'm done. Now, both products have similar drying times. You want to wait 30 minutes for the, the product to set up. And they'll, they'll both be pretty much dry to the touch within about 30 minutes. And from there, you can decide on just based on the look of the tire, where you want to leave it alone. It's glossy enough for you. You want to apply a second coat. Another coat would add more gloss. And at two coats would all I would would be all I would recommend for either of these products. Uh, these both there's no gloss. <clears throat> um, there's not different types of uh, look to the Optimum Tire Protection. If you want more gloss, you add more coats. The Black Pearl again you can get in matte or or glossy, but the glossy you can also get a little bit more gloss by applying another coating another coat. Uh, typically two coats is good. With the Optimum, it's about the same. Um, you could go with a, just a dark tire. You just want it nice, dark, and black. One coat will do it. As you can see, the tire already looks pretty good with the uh, Optimum. Uh, we're still drying there on the uh, with the Black Pearl. The things look good. We'll come back in a few minutes, see how it looks, uh, and then we'll add a second coat and uh, go from there. All right, guys, back for round two. Um, it's been about a half an hour. Um, things are dry now. 
Uh, both coatings are dry to the touch, as you can see. Um, I can wipe my finger there. Of course, you know, with that, even with the with the black tint to the black pearl, after about half an hour, it's completely dry. It's not coming off of my fingers. Likewise, you see no, you can see no no smearing. Both have a decent level of gloss to it. The tire uh, does look rich. Um, looks pretty good. You could stop here if you like. Um, I think this looks good. I like a, just a hair more gloss on my tire, so I'm going to apply a second coat. Uh, the Black Pearl is a, it's just a touch glossier. It may not be picking up on camera, um, but it's just a hair glossier than the Optimum, but the Optimum looks more even, if I have to say. Uh, it doesn't have, there's a few blotches. I mean, I had to reach to apply. Normally I'd be a little closer to um, while I'm applying it, but I didn't want to uh, bump the camera here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this second coat, let you guys see that, and then we'll let that dry and come back and look at the results. Uh, so again, roll on. Since there's just such a little product left in the roller pan, I had to just apply just a couple of drops back on. The roller was still wet. You can see it going on the tire there. It's probably a little heavy. I'll see if I can pick some of that up, spread it out. And you can see where I've gotten some of that in the rim. So have my damp microfiber towel, clean that up. If not, it'll be in trouble. Again, that's the only drawback to the Black Pearl. I really like the looks of it. It's just the application can be a little messy. Normally I would tape the tire up so we wouldn't have that problem, but I didn't take the time to do all that just for demonstration purposes. Now we're gonna go to the Optimum. Again, very little product. I'll even show you guys. It's actually still a little damp from the original application, so I'll probably just put a few drops there. And you'll see how, how, <clears throat> how well that spreads, given how much I put on there. Especially for, again, for low profile tires like these, it won't take a whole lot of product. You can see it going on there. That's it, I'm going to let that set up. And we'll come back in a few, see the results. All right, we're back. Um, I went ahead and used the heat gun to, uh, to uh, speed up the drying process. So it's been about 45 minutes total with the heat gun, I sped up the drying. Both sides are dry. They look really, really good. Uh, if I had to say, the Black Pearl side does have a, just a slight advantage in terms of gloss, but both sides of the tire look really good. Uh, you can see I'm focused in on the little area I had taped off. It may be hard to see the gloss with this lighting, so I'm going to bring in uh, my handy external light here, my handheld light. You can see that's the Black Pearl side. Nice and glossy. Move it over. to the optimum side, bring it back to the letters here, see what that looks like. And that's that. So I would leave it there. Again, both sides are nice and glossy. I give the a slight advantage to the black pearl side. Um, if you like your tires like a super glossy wet look, you can apply another coat, but for me, Personally, this is as far as I'd go in terms of application. Um, you go on the other side of the tire there. Kind of looks in a different light, but it's, both sides have a nice 
rich look to the tire. And that's how I like my tires. It all goes down to per personal preference. If you like a more glossy look, you can apply more, but to me, that'd be wasting product. Again, both sides, or both products, uh, the less you use, the, be the better it is, and the easier it is to use. You go too much with the roll-on, you're just gonna be messy, you're gonna get it on your rims, or if you haven't taped it off, and you you'll be doing cleanup. The Optimum side, much easier to deal with in terms of mess, it, but the uh, same rules apply. The less you use, the easier it is the, the, uh, to use, and the better your results will be. That's a, a common theme with the Optimum products. Um, but I like both. I can attest to the durability of Black Pearl. Uh, I've gotten up close to three months with a good looking tire in the summer. I'm still testing the Optimum, but so far so good. You see how easy it goes on and how little product I use to get these results. Um, uh, a quick side benefit to the uh, Black Pearl is that it can also be used on trim. So if you have some faded uh, textured trim, you can apply it there. Uh, it's, it's a little bit different to apply. Uh, you can use a, uh, a low pressure spray gun to apply it. You can also do that with the tires, but again, uh, it, it's hard to manage. It could be difficult to manage the mess, so you have to do some taping and make sure you're not getting that on your paint, that kind of thing. But for if you've got a Jeep or something with uh, textured black mirrors and it's faded, you wanna apply that, that's a great product. Um, I typically use another product, Solution Finish, which you may do another video on another day. Um, but this can be used on that as well. So you can get, again, more uses out of one product. Uh, both of these products are, are um, they're not cheap, but again, you get a lot of use out of uh, what you do get. The Optimum comes in eight ounces. I've done, um, this is my seventh tire, two coats on each tire that I've done, and I probably haven't used an ounce. With the Black Pearl, uh, it's a 16 ounce bottle, um, it's, which is about $70. You do get the tray, you do get a roller, and you get five roller uh, uh, foam rollers to go with that 16 ounce bottle. Uh, and I've done, I don't even know, countless, probably just under 10 sets of tires, and I'm not even halfway through a 16 ounce bottle yet. So, um, I, again, most of those tires were low profiles. These were guys who um, drive performance oriented vehicles but again you get a lot of use out of that product it goes a long way especially for someone like me who details a bit i want to get the most for my money um, if you're somebody who prefers ease of use go with the optimum for that eight ounces i believe it was thirty dollars again they're similar per, uh, price per ounce uh, but again, the optimum goes on a little easier. Can't attest the durability yet, but so far so good. You see it looks great. It's a nice shiny tire there. I really like the look of it, and especially can appreciate the ease of application. The Black Pearl, I already know it looks good. I already know it lasts, though the application can be a little bit painful. Um, so guys, that's the uh, tire coatings. Uh, maybe I'll do a video, another video on tire, simple tire dressings, water-based, which ones I like, which ones I don't like, and we'll go from there. But until the next time, guys, have a good one.